Praise God, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you all. Come on in, come on in. Welcome, welcome to another video with your woman of God, Angela Hunt. As you've seen the thumbnail of this video, I'm going to be sharing quickly on this quick download that God gave me for you all. The thumbnail says, doing this is dangerous my god my god so today i am here to forewarn you of the dangers of doing this act many believers are guilty of doing this act even on a daily basis and this act is pulling us back in life if you want to press forward if you want to move forward in life if you want your life to start making strides then you need to stop doing this completely you have to stop looking back in your life you have to stop reminiscing on the past you need to stop doing this immediately if you want to press forward if you want to move forward in life and i'm going to take you to the key scripture text to drive this point home and the key scripture text is genesis 19 verse 15 to 26 and i'm just going to summarize this story but go ahead and read it in your spare time this is a popular story Story. This is a story of where Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt when God was about to rain down terror and judgment upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Strict instructions was given to Lot and his family that they should run and never look back. My God, my God. But in verse 26 of the text, Lot's wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. From this scripture, we can see that looking back can be very dangerous reminiscing on the past can be very dangerous keeping your thoughts and mind on the things of the past can be very dangerous praise God let us now analyze why did Lot's wife look back have you ever stopped to ask yourself why did she look back is it just that she's foolish or disobedient but I'm here to enlighten you that the main reason why Lot's wife look back glory be to God is because she was already looking back in her heart Lot and his family they weren't poor they have accumulated many wealth and possessions and properties in Sodom glory be to God now she having to run away from that place and that place is going to be utterly destroyed by fire and brimstone Lot's wife could have let go of all that they have accumulated in Sodom while she was running away she was reminiscing on the past she was reminiscing on all the good things that she has left behind in Sodom my God my God you see looking back starts from in the heart when you start thinking about it when you start reminiscing about it then it will now translate into the physical act of you looking back praise God hallelujah stay with me stay with me I am taking you somewhere now many of us we criticize Lot's wife saying that she's foolish why did she have to look back why was she disobedient to the commands of the angels and God says many of us including you and myself we are guilty of the same act that Lot's wife committed on a daily basis we spend minutes we spend evil hours reminiscing on the past when things are not going good in our life we look back and we say that things were so good when we were in the world that money came much easier when we were in the world my god you weren't living in lack and poverty when you were in the world because peter paul and john was there to help to support you financially praise god hallelujah we are no different from lot's wife and this is why some of us end up going back to the world and this is why some of us start to backslide in our heart which actually translates to the actual backsliding many of us we sit down and we say serving God is so hard and since I came to God my life has worsened and we are murmuring and we are complaining and we are comparing the past with the present and God says to come and tell you to stop living in the past to close the chapters of the past let the past remain in the past stop looking back because looking back can be very dangerous 
So looking back in your heart, which is thinking and reminiscing on the past is step one to danger. Step two is when you actually now start to look back. You now start to go back to your evil ways. You now start to go back to the ways of the world. You start to commit one little sin here and there. You're running back to your exes, Peter, Paul, and John, because you said your life was more comfortable and your life was more better when you were in the world. But God says like Lot's wife, let us not fall into this danger. Like Lot's wife, let us look forward. Mark 10 verse 25 says, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When we are too attached to material things, when we are too attached to the things of the world, it becomes very difficult for us to make heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Lot's wife could have let go of all that she and her husband has acquired and built in Sodom. And this is why she looked back in her heart, which then eventually forced her to look back physically. God says to tell you not to become too attached to anything, that if you have to go, if you have to run for your life, you will have to look back. I know this word is for somebody. Philippians 4 verse 11 to 12 tells us that we ought to be content in whatsoever state we are in. My God, my God, people of God, are you content in the state that you're in? You may not have all the things that you used to have when you're in the world, but know that you have transitioned over to God. You are rebuilding. Let us be content with where we are now until God take us to that elevated place until God take us to that land overflowing with milk and honey. Bakasanda, Philippians 4 verse 11 to 12 says, Know that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Verse 12 says, I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer need so this scripture is telling us clearly that we ought to be satisfied and content with where we are in life now where we are in Christ Jesus until God turn things around for us it is dangerous to keep looking back in the past it is dangerous my God to keep opening the chapters of the past Philippians 3 verse 13 to 14 says Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the higher calling of God through Christ Jesus. So like Apostle Paul, let us forget about the things behind. Let us forget about the things of the past. Let us stop bringing back our thoughts and memories to the things of the past. It is time to focus on the things that are before you. It is time to focus on the things that are up ahead. It is time to focus on where God is planning to take you. Close those chapters of the past. Stop living in the past. Doing this thing is very dangerous. And I'm about to close out this message but God is reminding me of the Israelites in the book of Exodus where they were looking back on the things of Egypt when they were looking back at the good food they were eating and they were murmuring and complaining Exodus 16 verse 3 says if only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt they moaned there we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted but now you have brought us into this wilderness to starve us to death the Israelites were known for murmuring and complaining many of us are just like this when things are not going the way we want them to go when things in life become difficult when life start to give us some real punches it is easy for us to look 
back at the past it is easy for us to want to go back to the things and the people of the past the Israelites they murmured and complained when things weren't going well for them in the wilderness they wanted to go back to Egypt which was a place of captivity which was a place of oppression which was a place where they were held in slavery my god this is what looking back does it wants you to go back to the evil that you once know but God says to come and tell you today that you need to stop looking back in the past don't be like Lot's wife who turned around and she lost her life you see God had good things in store for the Israelites but they didn't want to suffer a little in the wilderness God had great plans to take them to a great place to Canaan land to a land overflowing with milk and honey but they kept looking back they kept living in the past they kept opening the doors of the past they kept reminiscing on the past and this is what the past does the past will keep you stuck in backwardness and stagnation because you don't want to take on the challenge that is up ahead praise God hallelujah 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 I am wrapping up my message right here and God says to come and tell every person under the sound of my voice including myself to stop looking on the past do not look back close those chapters forget that which lies behind press forward move forward to what God has in store for you and I'm here in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the thoughts that I have towards you thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a good expected end so where you are in life now may not be where you want to be but Angela is here to encourage you today to hold on and press forward to push through the tough times because God has greatness for you God has great plans to take you into your Canaan land don't let what you're going through pull you back to being comfortable with being in slavery to be comfortable in being in sin to being comfortable to being oppressed by the enemy you have lived liberty through Christ Jesus so my family remember doing this is dangerous it cost Lot's wife her life my God it cost some of the Israelites not to have made it into Canaan land they murmur and they complain so much God says to be contented with where you are now he is working on your case he is loading your blessings and your breakthroughs but you must go through the process you must go through the path to get to your place of blessing my family you know your woman of God love you go ahead give this video a thumbs up share 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 and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed until next time see you in the next video be blessed